Hey guys, Josh here from DigiAquatics. Today I want to show you a quick demo of our new auto scheduling software in the staff scheduling module of DigiAquatics. So a couple things just to start out. So you want to make sure that all of your employee availabilities and time off requests and then the desired weekly hours and max weekly hours are all set up for your employees. So uh, to quickly recap that on the staff scheduling screen here, I've got a decent number of employees in the system already. And so I can see, for example, Gabriel has zero hours currently scheduled. He has a desired weekly hours of 25 and max of 40. And you can set those on a per employee basis. Just click next to their name, edit employee, and then you can change that number. So the algorithm is going to use all of these parameters as it starts auto scheduling shifts for you. So make sure you have those things set up. Um, again, you wanna make sure all your employee availabilities are set up. If you go to scheduling and employee availabilities, um, you can either have your staff enter this on their own, on their phone, or you can an enter it as an admin uh, from your side. And as a reminder, you can lock it. So if you need to make any changes um, yourself, you can, but your employees can't. So I've got a bunch of availabilities in here. Some people can work on certain days, they can't work on other days. And then I also have some time off requests that are pending approval. Um, so if we look here at Sandy Starfish, she's got time off pending approval tomorrow on the 20th. And then Gabriel has time off that's been approved on the 19th and 20th as well. So in order to start your auto schedule, you wanna go to the shift mode. And I went ahead and for Wheat Ridge Rec Center, I've created a sample schedule for my pool. So I've got some MOD shifts, I've got some lifeguard shifts um, for you know different times during the day and even some WSI uh, shifts in the evening for lessons. Now this is just a sample schedule, so it's not super overwhelming, but you wanna make sure all of your shifts are unassigned. So no employees are assigned to them yet. As a reminder, the auto schedule will not mess up any shifts that are currently assigned. So if you, for example, went in here and assigned these WSI shifts to uh, Gabriel, we'll just wanna make sure that he's teaching all of these lesson shifts so that we don't you know, end up with random instructors. So I'm going to assign him to those shifts to start out. And so then you'll want to click the A, the super A or the A star uh, to the right of publish. This is gonna bring up some different options for the auto schedule algorithm. So the first one, assume available unless marked unavailable. That means that if somebody hasn't said that they're unavailable, then the algorithm will decide that they are available and they can work. Otherwise, it will find the times that people have explicitly said that they are available and schedule them based on that. So this will allow more employees to be scheduled and it's really up to you as to how you tell your staff to put in their availability times. The next one is employees with time off request pending approval are eligible. So Sandy Starfish on the 20th had a all day time off request that's still pending. I have not yet approved it. Uh, if I check this, then she would still be eligible to work during that time. The reason you might want to use this is in the event of a bunch of people have requested winter break off from work and you still need to fill your schedule first, but then you're going to go back and you know approve certain time off requests for certain individuals, um, you can do that. So I'm gonna leave that one off for right now. Employees with secondary location access are eligible. So it's going to first find all of the employees that have Wheat Ridge Rec Center as their primary location. Now, if you're trying to pull staff from other locations, any other employee who does have access to Wheat Ridge Rec Center, but as a secondary location, you can have them be eligible for the schedule as well. Also, finally, the last option is only schedule up to the employee's desired hours. So as a reminder, Gabe had a desired hours of 15. Um, so that means that Gabe will only be assigned 15 hours or up to 15 hours based on kind of how the, the puzzle works with the shifts. So if you want to allow auto schedule to assign shifts all the way up to max weekly hours for every employee, you can uncheck that and that will do that as well. So I'm going to uncheck that. Employees with secondary loca location access are eligible. And then you're just going to click start auto scheduling. Yes, I want to do this. Okay, so it's going to start doing its magic. You're gonna get an email once the algorithm is done doing its work. And then you can check back and see all the shifts that have been created. So I'm going to see if this has completed real quick. Perfect. 
So I went ahead and refreshed and it's done a pretty good job filling shifts from, you know, my staff that I have here and from other uh, locations as well. So again, the WSI shifts that I created for Gabriel were not changed. Um, so if you have something specific like lessons or you know a certain employee is good at working opening shifts or something like that, you can assign those first. And then auto schedule will just take care of the other ones that are unassigned. So a couple things here, I didn't have enough staff in order to fill a couple lifeguard and MOD shifts in the afternoon. Um, so you can go ahead and just manually assign those as well. Or if you'd like to, you can just run the auto schedule again. So if you want to then try and pick employees from secondary locations, you can you know, certainly do that. And then it'll try and fill the rest of them for you. Or if you've had some staff open up some availability. So that is how auto scheduling in Digiquatics works. If you have any questions, feel free to drop us a line in the chat. Otherwise, we look forward to hearing what you think about this new module. Thanks and have a great day.